just want to give you praise, dear Father. Yeah. And we want to shout out to our Father for us. Hallelujah, dear God. Yeah. Thank you, dear God. Dear Heavenly Father, we'll always be mindful, dear Heavenly Father, to give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
to be thankful.
long as they needed to stay with him. Mm -hmm. He couldn't stay in his homeland because the death was stacked against him. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't win that war. Mm -hmm. So he fell. And uh, while David and his men were there with the king of the Philistines, a war broke out yeah. between the Philistines and the Israelites. Now, David was an Israelite. David's, David's men were part of an Israelite army. But yet, he was living with the Philistine king. And the Philistines were enemies to the Israelites. And so when the war broke out, the Philistine king said, David, we want you to take your army to war with us against your own people. Well, David in his haste, David in his fear, had accepted a favor from the enemy king. And now the enemy king is saying, David, I want you to return the favor. I want you to help me fight your own people. My brothers and sisters, you want to be careful who you accept favor from. If you want to be careful how you act before you think when, when you're at your wit's end. You want to be careful who you team up with when the debt is stacked against you and you feel like you can't win in life. You want to be careful who you in relationships with when you feel like you don't have anywhere else to go because those relationships could eventually call for you to deliver some favors that you don't want to deliver. Those people you enter in, you accept favors from could ask for return favors. And those return favors could be against you. They could be against your God. They could be against your religion. They could be against your character. They could be against your moral. They could be against your integrity. Be careful how you make decisions when your back is to the wall and you can't see your way out and you feel like you just can't make it through. I'm sure somebody here has made some decisions in, in those difficult times that, that later on in life you wish you had a thought before you acted. And that's what happened to David. David got scared. David said, I can't win this battle, so I'm getting out of town. I'm going to join myself to whoever will take me in. But then it reached the point where David was asked to pay a price. He didn't want to pay. There are some relationships that will require you to pay a price. You don't want to pay some folks you accept favors from will later require you to pay a price you don't want to pay. So David had no choice. David said, I, I, I'm living in this man's house. I've accepted this favor from this man. He's taken me and my, 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 my arm and I in when, when we were on the run, when we couldn't handle it in our homeland. I, I don't have a choice. I have got to join his army to fight against my own Thank God for his grace and mercy. When David went to the battlefield, the Philistine commanders called their king and said, Sir, we don't want David fighting with us. David is our enemy. David just might become a traitor. And instead of fighting for us, 
David just might start fighting against us. Yes. So, so we don't want we don't want David out there. Although, although he's saying he's on our side. Yes. David, David is a is an Israelite warrior. And we are fighting the Israelites. We don't trust them. God has a way of making up how we mess up. And so when, when, they, when the commandment said we don't want David, the, the captain, uh, the king, called him back in off the field and, and set him on. David, you, you go home. God, God, God is a good God. God, God saves us even in our own personal message. God, God saves us. And so then, went home. God, God rescued him that time. And, and he went home. But, but still, he had to deal with the consequences of his own fearful, ungodly decision. When, when, when he got back home, he, he found a very stressful situation. When he returned to his, his homeland, expecting to find the joys of, of family life. He was met with a situation that caused a lot of distress, strain, yeah. Yeah. and misery mm -hmm. to, to the point that David really needed some relief. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what was the cause of David's distress? Right. It, it, was a, it was a domestic problem. Mm -hmm. when, he got back, when he got back to his homeland, he found a, a problem at home. Yeah. Now, home problems can be our greatest source yeah. of stress, yeah. and strain, yeah. and suffering. Yeah. We can we can deal with stuff yeah. just about anywhere yeah. if we can go home yeah. and things are well at home. We can yeah. deal with it in the community. We can deal with it at work. Deal with it even in church, but but just as long as things are well at, at home. I heard somebody say one time, if I can if I can just get home, I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. I can handle whatever the day brings. Just as long as I can get home when the day is over. It's my bad, my brothers and sisters, when you don't want to go home. When the day is, is over. So David, David went, went home. He was, he was expecting to, to, be, to be treated with kindness, humility, and love at, at home. But, but he found a distressing situation. When, when, he, when he got there, he noticed that the city had been burned. All of the houses had been burned. And, and all of their wives and children had been taken captive. Now, now, now that, that, that was the consequences of David's action. You see, David was a mighty warrior. David had the ability to whip up on him. And, 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 and David felt like when Whenever he whipped up on people, that he was through with them. But 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 there were some people there that he whipped up on and said, David, you might be through with us, but but we're not through with you. Be careful how you stick your chest out when you have the advantage over people. Be careful how you lift your head up and cry and say, I took them down. There was a group of people called the Amalekites. That, that David could take down yeah. any day, week, or month of the year because David's army was just that powerful. Yeah. And David had been taking these Amalekites down, but these Amalekites were people that didn't give up. Yeah. David was done with them, but they weren't done with him. 
So they kept their eyes on death. Yes. And that there are times when you, you think you've got the enemy whipped up, but the enemy has got his eyes on you. The enemy has got his eyes on your family. He's got his eyes on your household. He's got his eyes on your husband, on your wife, on your children. The enemy keeps his eyes on you. These are not When David left, took his army with him, nobody had to fight. These enemies said, David, it's our time now. They, they invaded his land. You see, when, when we are away from home, engaged in that, that we ought not be engaged in, we really leave our homes unprotected and God is not obligated to take care of them. How many times in life we've been away from home doing what we ought not have been doing. Our homes were unprotected. God was not obligated but thank God for his grace and his mercy. He took care of them for us while we were in It's your fault that our wives and our 
So bear with them. Having a deal with the consequences of his own bad decisions. Consequences of his own fearful, cowardly decisions. Consequences of his own sinful decisions. All by himself. He had no human help. Wives in captivity, sons in captivity, they couldn't help him. Daughters in captivity, they couldn't help him. And the men in his army that he counted on had turned on him. So David stood alone, needing some relief, but nowhere to turn. Everybody needs somebody. Even, 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 even when, when Jesus went in the garden to pray, said, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. But, but he took three human hearts with him. And he said, watch with me while I go down the hand pray. He was saying, you can't do anything from me. I've got to make this journey for myself. But it will help me to know. What I need. 
much so that this time David said, God, what will you have me to do? Now the first time David said, I'm going to do it myself.
not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you, you're trying to fix it on your own. Jesus said, there ain't but one way to fix it. Number one way to fix a sin life. Jesus says, no man come to the Father. But by I think it's a coming to me that's one that will come today and say, I'm going to come to the Father. I'm up against it. Sin life is getting the best of you. I want to get it straight. You gotta move. You can move toward God through Jesus Christ. As we say, Seems like 
Almighty of God to perish in it. We want to pray with you that you might be able to as they did. That you might be able to encourage yourself and strengthen yourself. Thank you. 